Hi guys, this is Konstantin. Today from San Mateo, California, uh, and from Hero City, it's co-working space connected with the Draper University. And that's why today I'm gonna tell you about my experience at Draper University. So first time I found about this place around two years ago uh, at internet, of course, <laughs> and it was an article in Inc. A website about best accelerators in Silicon Valley and they said something about that please also check Draper University as a kind of interesting place and I went to their website and I found like from the very beginning that it's probably something very interesting because of few things first it was founded by venture capitalist and it's very important because if you go to Silicon Valley you want to know like about that ecosystem and the best people who know about that ecosystem is people who inside that ecosystem who invest in the companies because if you invest in a company you understand what's happening inside you understand how it's all interconnected how can you make money on it and it's very important because kind of all the entrepreneurs have kind of the same goals right they also want to change the world but they also want to make money for themselves for investors for their co-founders so it's very very good idea to learn from people who already did money on some good companies and well-known companies and I know nothing in that time about Tim Draper and I found that he invested in Skype and Hotmail and other big very cool companies and I thought okay I want to learn from that people of course I want to go and uh, other I found that it was very small community and it's very important because I think that small communities are always like better than big communities. Imagine if you are inside one big university, the Stanford University, it's also a very good place, but uh, sometimes it might be difficult to find the proper man. People just don't know what happened maybe in the next building because the university is so huge. And if it's small community, if it's small university, and Draper University is small community still, but it's growing fast. Uh, it's much easier because everyone interconnected. You know one guy, he you know like in, in one shake, how you call it, shake hands, like probably you will know everyone through one guy. So like, it's so easy to connect with anyone in that community. And community in Silicon Valley, it's like very cool thing. And I decided I wanna go there. So I applied um, several weeks before the program started and I was accepted. Woohoohoo! <laughs> I went to California and of course I was like surprised and like uh, shocked by the people I met here because people have been so open and like uh, they communicated so well and I thought oh my god <laughs> like I should have the same level of English of communication skills and I wanted to like communicate better and it was part of a program because while you study there you try to speak in public you try to speak with your uh, group mates and you develop in your communication skills a lot i think it's a big part of a program so uh this part called so what so what was at draper university um draper university have a program divided into weeks it's uh in i think it's like eight weeks around eight weeks program and uh, every week concentrated on some topics for startups and this is cool that because they try to change program i think uh, very often they try to change program every after every cohort uh, er, after every batch because they want to develop it better and sometimes they just understand that they don't need some parts or they like need something else because people ask about that and they try to implement things very very fast I was surprised that they gave us a lot of free time not like a lot a lot free time but every day we have a time to develop our companies or develop our idea ideas like to work really work on them i thought it's very cool because they say that people before ask them about that because if you just uh, teach people and don't give them opportunity to implement those ideas it's kind of not very cool right and they changed that program while uh, my study and i enjoy that free time because I tried to implement those ideas. Uh, not all of them was like very, very successful, but some things I still work on. So it's, it was very good, very good time. And what else? 
we met a lot of founders, uh, founders in Silicon Valley. So it's people who made uh, very cool IT companies here or tech companies, right? And they made the exits. They came here to speak about how they look at the world. It's very important to understand their framework, what's happening in their minds, because they, you also want to kind of be in that uh, in that ecosystem, right? We also met investors who invest in the companies, uh, and this is so important because if you want to understand how this ecosystem works, you need to understand like to be h how people make money here, right? This is like the essence of uh, Silicon Valley. People make money here. People like create big businesses. They create great teams, great products, and it works somehow. And this is very important to understand what exactly happening in the space because if you just hear about like one company did great exit or one company raised a lot of money or one company created great product it's kind of cool right but if you don't understand what happening in the middle like what happening inside inside those companies it's kind of useless right because you just heard something and you don't know how to apply those things to your experience to your life and Last thing about uh, Draper University, I want to say it was a survival week. Survival week was a great experience for like all my group mates. I think everyone thinks that this is the best, the best part of the program. So uh, it's a part when um, some people get together all the group and bring them somewhere in a like forests of California, and this is so cool because. It's kind of challenging situation. Uh, you don't have a lot of comfort there. It's kind of camping, camping, and uh, some people like, they just act differently, or they just act like. And you understand? Oh, I want to work with those guys, or I like want to be friends with those guys because they um, they show themselves in like in so good way, and you understand? Oh my God, I need that part of program. I need. I wanna. I wanna like maybe longer <laughs> that survival week. Not everyone will agree with me. So what was after Draper University? After Draper University, I decided to concentrate on my idea and to work longer about autonomous cars and try to understand how can I create business around autonomous cars because I really believe that this is the biggest disruptive technology in transportation space and I wanted to build uh, something in that space to make it like very cool, very good for people to, s uh, to save money on transportation and to decrease uh, traffic congestions, decrease emission, decrease amount of people who die on the roads. So to have so many reasons to deploy those autonomous cars to like faster their development. And I decided to concentrate on that and uh, first I decided to make a research, visit a lot of conferences, uh, conferences, small meetups in San Francisco or big conferences, CES at Las Vegas. I, um, I've been everywhere. <laughs> and um, Draper University, they also tried to help me uh, in that journey. I had a regular meeting, meetings with my mentor, with Juan, and he gave me sometimes good, sometimes uh, some suggestion I didn't implement, but it was great that I have someone who really care about me, about my business, and I wanna say thank you, Juan. <laughs> we did it, and after like uh, sometimes our communication, he also uh, a partner of Draper University Ventures. Uh, they offered me uh, investment round, and I got funded by Draper University Ventures. And now I also still uh, stay in touch with Draper University. I participate in their alumna panel and uh, today I will speak at that panel. Today they will have a biggest batch in the history. I think 120 or more than 120 people. And this is great because the university is growing and I think it's very cool because people all around the world come here to learn from Silicon Valley and try to implement these approaches for their business, for their lives and for themselves. That's it I, that I wanted to say you about Draper University. If you want to apply, please go to draperuniversity.com. If you have some question you want to ask me, please write me. I will give you a suggestion what to do in, in connection with Draper University. And that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.